the first modern man, Homo Kibish, appeared here in the Great Rift Valley in southern Ethiopia 195,000 years ago. The Surma are the sons and daughters of this common ancestor of all humanity. As our brothers who've been in existence over time, they can teach us much about both our recent and remote past. There are 28,000 Surma living separately from the outside world. They reveal the secrets of Donga. This legendary violent duel is a regular part of a fierce existence in which weakness means death. We lived in the heavens with Tuma, our god. One day, he opened up a large hole in the clouds and gave us ropes to descend upon the earth. here in the valley of the Kibish River. While grinding millet, a woman broke the ropes by accident. The heavens closed up. Since that time, we no longer know where to find Tuma. Our enemies persecute us, and we no longer can seek refuge with him. The Sudan lies just opposite. All of the region's ethnic groups have always been at war. To survive, the herds need water and pasture land. Every plain and valley is conquered, then lost and reconquered. Hole Kiwo and his men are watching out for the Bumi. The Surma's ancestral foes have seized the plain below. In war-ravaged Sudan, Muslims in the north fighting Christians and animists in the south are prime targets for arms dealers. In the townships along the border, the Surma trade cattle for automatic rifles. The Ethiopian government is far away. A few gully trails lead to these remote regions. Bandits of all origins fleece and kill others with impunity and impose their bloodthirsty, iniquitous law here. For several weeks, Surma territory has been hit by a devastating heat wave. Daytime temperatures reach a high of 45 degrees in the shade. The spring rains have not come. The animals are prostrate. No one knows how old Dishmoy is. The Surma don't measure time in this way. The old man is a Komoru. A Komoru is neither a king nor a priest. He embodies moral authority and wisdom. Dishmoy is the living memory of the Surma. 
In him lies the experience and knowledge of the ancestors, who for thousands of years have ensured the survival of a small group of people living on violent lands. Oh, my father, the cattle, give us your milk. Give us your blood to drink. May you multiply. Oh, my father, the cattle, bring us wealth. Keep us in good health. Make us joyful. Make us glad. Make the land of the Surma amenable. Endow us with your goodness, with your strength. The Surma are semi-nomadic herdsmen. They have few possessions besides their cattle, with whom they identify with great passion. Their huts are only makeshift shelters. They are not craftsmen. The extreme destitution in which they have always lived constitutes their strength. To a certain extent, they float, light and free, playing with time, a constant threat. Foreigners sometimes recount how, in the past, the Surma used to force their wives to disfigure themselves to escape the slave merchants haunting the Horn of Africa. This is only a rumor, however. Surma women are the only women in Africa who still wear lip plates. No one forces the young girls to follow this tradition. Their lower lips are pierced when they are between 12 and 18 years old. The lip plate is primarily decorative. The larger the plate, the more appealing the woman, and the greater the number of cows that need to be given to her family in order to marry her. Thank you. 